Well, it almost didn't happen this year, but the I-75 rivalry is one tonight. The University of Toledo Rockets hosts the Bowling Green Falcons tonight at the Glass Bowl. In the age of COVID, though, some traditions, they may be a little different. Here to give us some background and maybe what to expect tonight, here is Mark Lukey from Thread Marketing Group. Good morning, Mark. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, there. Good morning. It's good to be here talking about something other than right? college. <laughs> yes, yes, this is good. Um, where are we right now with college football? We had uh, Big Ten is back, right? And then tonight with this game, the Mac will be back. Right. Uh, you know, the season almost didn't happen for college football at all. Uh, this summer, out of an abundance of caution about COVID, the uh, major uh, leagues decided to can or were thinking about canceling the season entirely. But ultimately, the Power Five conference agreed to play. And then in late December, or I'm sorry, late September, MAC conference presidents announced a six game season. Uh, and that starts tonight in the Glass Bowl against Bowling Green. So kind of a big game, right? There's a lot of history with this uh, rivalry, and I think uh, UT is out for some revenge tonight maybe, do you think? Yeah, well, UT <laughs> lost last year. They've gotten some good uh, rankings in some of the pregame polling. Uh, so they are out to prove a point, but it's going to be very, very different this year. Um, there are, there are a couple of things that make it uh, different from the COVID, COVID standpoint. First of all, I have to say that Dr. Greg Postel, the president at UT, has moved forward with uh, the safety and health of everybody as a priority for him. Uh, but that's, and that said, uh, that's a very uh, astute thing, but mm -hmm. that, that's that college football is really part of the fabric of American life, especially in fall. Um, I think fans are missing the traditions and the social aspects of the game. And in fact, uh, mental health clinics nationwide are saying that men over the age of 40 are dropping in at higher numbers than normal, uh, uh, talking about depression because of the college football season being gone. Uh, the other piece is that uh, the six game season affects our local economy. Obviously yeah. a much shorter season than previous years, but on a typical game night in Toledo, uh, more than 300 people are employed at the stadium and at the university. Uh, businesses sp uh, Business spikes up at the local taverns and restaurants for people watching the game. Uh, and of course it helps fund the entire UT athletic program. So that's very, very important. Uh, the numbers are a little smaller in uh, Toledo and especially in Bowling Green, but in a Big Ten school, uh, a daily, uh, uh, a uh, Saturday game brings in $120 million per season. So it's wow. big business as well. Yeah, so the Ohio States, you know, uh, really feeling uh, feeling that pinch uh, yeah, right now without these home games, uh, you know, and we are starting to see the the COVID cases rise again here. I think over 4,000 uh, for the state yesterday. So is playing football, is, is it a good idea? Well, it's certainly a good financial idea. Um, when uh, the, the uh, game, when the game tonight is on uh, nationwide cable and that revenue which is uh, nearly $10 million split among all of the MAC schools and the conference itself, is very, very significant to the athletic budget here in Toledo. Uh, it's not just about the money, though. Viewers around the country will uh, be able to see a commercial from each school. It's part of the package with the cable network. Uh, tonight's game should reach more than 2 million viewers, and that means 2 million people nationwide who will learn something about UT and about Bowling Green through those commercials. That's good for student recruiting, and it's certainly good for athletic recruiting as well. So maybe better than nothing, right? Especially considering, you know, they're not going to be able to get these, these big crowds into the stadium. I think it's what a thousand, maybe a thousand fans. So what is this game? What's it going to look like? Here's what it is going to look. Uh, first of all, uh, nothing is going to happen on the field except the game, okay? Uh, but about a thousand fans will be there live. Uh, four tickets for each player and coach family have been given to both teams. Uh, they're going to be sitting safely five rows back in the gas, glass bowl. And the band, cheerleaders, dance team uh, from both schools will be there to do their thing in the stands as well. And their parents were given free tickets as well. But as you say, the glass bowl seats 27,000 people. So it's not going to look like a very big crowd with just a thousand. But just like Amer uh, Major League Baseball and some of the NFL teams, um, crowd noise will be pumped into the stands. And in addition to that, students uh, who want to can watch the game in sort of a drive-in movie setup. They'll have a huge screen in uh, Lot 25 on campus, and students can drive their cars up and watch the game there. And then in a brilliant promotion, the UT Athletic Department is encouraging fans to send in photos of themselves for cutouts. Those cutouts <laughs> 
put in the end zones because believe it or not, that's what the uh, te television cameras pick up most often. <laughs> So you can have a cutout. There'll also be some cutouts there of the 50 uh, most notable uh, rocket athletes over time. And if one of the teams kicks a field goal or an extra point and hits your cutout, you get a prize package. So well, it's there not you a, go. <laughs> it's things that are new to make the, the game yeah. feel uh, a little bit uh, normal and a little bit exciting this year. Yeah, everybody's kind of doing their best, right, to, to try to get some sense of norm normalcy, still play a little football, enjoy a little football, and uh, we'll be watching uh, to see who wins tonight. Uh, oh, Mark. yeah. <laughs> Everything else. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right, Mark, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, you too.